Ah, hey everyone, good morning. Today we're going to be reacting to the 10 stages of every scout main. Now, just to be clear, this is a video I had no say in. I just told uh, Krom the God that he could make it and that I would support him. So this is going to be really interesting because this is a video that I wanted to make for a really long time, but I had no motivation to actually make because I just don't feel inspired from TF2 anymore. And I just want to watch this and support him and share my thoughts as well. Because I, I've made three of these videos by now, so I understand the production process and I want to see uh, how, what he does, how he does it, and if he's done it well. So let's take a look. I play a lot of Dota though. Oh! Yeah, until I stop playing Dota. Oh, this is my stream! Oh my god, I made to look at me, that's fun, baby me. I'm just gonna, bro, I've kind of dropped it for TF2, honestly. I just, I just, okay, well, first of all, the fact that he put it into his video at the start is really nice of him. He didn't have to, but he did. Uh, also, for the song, everyone everyone asked about the song, and it's actually from Konosuba. It's, if you go, if you get the background music, it's called, it's number two, and with these letters, uh, is, is that's the song. Ooh, okay. First of all, SFM poster is really nice, well lit, good posing. After making a lot of SFM posters, yeah, they give us pyrovision goggles. That's a stereotypical stage one beginner noob thing, and I really like it. The scout, being a lean, mm -hmm. mean, killing machine, has a high tendency oh, to attract those flashbacks. who particularly enjoy seeing the scout's high mobility and kill potential from YouTube videos. Yo, oh my god, what the f- Holy <laughs> shit! Or because of the random class and got scout and up to the stick with him. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, well, first of all, first stage, that was really nice first impressions, I liked it. During stage 2, the early scout mains have a high tendency to jump between other characters, seeing which ones are comfortable to play with and which ones aren't. They test to see if perhaps healing feels better to them. <laughs> Maybe using projectiles as soldier... ...or demo. Oh man, okay, first of all, I... Um, one thing that I, I did, along with a lot of other people, uh, that make these sort of videos is you can see at the top right you would really get into the role of a terrible player so you can see his name is baby player and we just purposely get bad clips to show off just like what he's doing right now and it's just funny to see that everyone else does it it's, it's, it's cool you may try sniping oh okay you can see at the top right you actually got a headshot kill so he cut that out <laughs> and put this clip instead which is just great Oh, this is so good. Default, Those remove all your cosmetics. Onto the class Love it. Couple of hours. Stage 3. Ooh, that's some nice volumetric lighting. Played for at least 50 or more hours and realizes a I think that's, uh... Okay, never mind. Yes. Ooh, so all right. Okay, enemy. yeah. So I have to, I have to go behind the enemy. All right, I, oh, I can do that. Yeah, no problem. Man, the acting. Dude, Chrome, you remind me so much of me when I made my first 10 stages. Oh, man. Just to act, trying to act like a player, like, ooh, okay, 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 it's just so fun, and just, you just take a piss with it and just go with it, it's great. Okay, I don't see anybody, uh, let me, just, oh, oh, okay, I found him, I found him, I found him, come on, come on, come on, come on, oh, come on, come on, come on, yes! Cool, oh, but, <laughs> come on, come on, god, no, god, god! <laughs> they were the infamous Gibbous and had their profile pic set to a shitty overused <laughs> picture of the scout. I'm behind the enemy, so I'll just real quick get rid of this sentry, and then get rid of this salt, mother, god, god, god! Damn it! <laughs> God damn. Dude. That is an intense looking poster. <laughs> I had to pause for a minute. Just because of how. <laughs> Holy shit. I've never seen something so violent in like a whole week. Oh my God. Yo. I also noticed, um, at least in terms of YouTube, we didn't censor any of his swears, which is fine. But like, I just be careful. If you guys are gonna do something like this, just make sure you censor your swears. Many scout mains by this stage gain an increasingly high salt level. After playing the game for extremely slaty, <laughs> and their poor skill on the scout's wow, I've never, pool, I've never used that word them before. just having an off day. F***ing Pyro just has the f***ing WM1 all the goddamn time. Damn. Oh my f***ing god, you're so f***ing hacking. Stop, stop, oh my f***ing, stop f***ing my god. <laughs> prone to rage quits and some this is a really accurate representation of a scout main, honestly. His, his acting is... 100%. That or that's his actual gameplay. If it is, I'm really worried about you. The effects of stage 4 can last a rather long time, and some scout mains never truly pass beyond it, staying toxic towards everyone else for the remainder of their lifespan. Stage Scum. 5 starts- Oh, I forgot about that. Oh my god. 
They become cocky, loud, arrogant, taunt after every kill, spam E in front of medics, take med kits in front of teammates that need them more, take level 1 teleporters, and are just assholes in general. Ooh. Dude, you can tell this comes from a really personal level. <laughs> the things you're listing is just like... <laughs> God, I hate scoutmates! These scouts are referred to as scunts by the community and tend to be looked down upon. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Their accounts are just over. <laughs> oh, I love that IRL skit. That's so good. <laughs> he misses the keys as well. That is perfect. What was that? Is that a Dell keyboard? Oh, that makes it so much better. And the lighting is. Mm, okay, this is. I like this a lot. I can't stop. No! With their bad usernames, usually involving oh, either the man. word. Cool. I remember doing this. I'm such a nerd for SFM, but like the blur in his background is super nice and the way he pans the camera is also really cool. By this point, the scout man has played the game for over 500 hours and realizes that they still have a lot of room for improvement. They may also start watching professional players to learn from them. Mm. True. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is great. Oh, that is so good. <laughs> At the same time, however, many scout mains begin to purchasing oh, I love that. cosmetics. That is incredible. Many this boost in skill often pushes the scout main to continue improving. Oh my god. This is improvement? Dude, this is a setback. <laughs> it's so violent. Maybe even buying a strange or Australian variant. Mm, they true. do, however, only play scout and will never switch off the class, even if it's needed. Oh my god. Memes? <laughs> okay, okay. That makes sense. Fine, fine. By this point, main scout mains are good enough to top scoreboards and go on huge kill streaks. Okay. But after a while of top scoring, the scout main tends to just feel bored while playing. So, in an effort to increase their fun, they start to use meme strats. These strats are simply just that memes. They're overall silly and quite bad. The most common ones being using the force of nature and going purely for environmental kills using the Bonk and Sandman to go for taunt kills, and finally, the fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so great. Ooh, By this out. point, the scout man has played the game for a good thousand hours or more, and has reached a stage where the sheer mental concentration of playing scout for so long has completely drained them of all their energy, which in turn kills the morale and will to play. Hmm. I want to play scout. I just, I want to, but I can't. <laughs> they have the most fun they've ever had playing TF2, and some even go to the next level and enter professional UGC Highlander teams. <laughs> most, however, stick to a casual level, playing on casual servers. I'll, I'll just keep watching. Stage 10. You've made it. <laughs> You've reached the top. You're the best scout you could ever possibly be. Does that mean you're the best player in the world? No. There's no way to calculate that. So, here's a little uh, trickery thing. Maybe a little bit obvious to most of you, but you can see that he's joined a community server. He has 24 health, and it's just two, um, and his friend, and he's also in voice chat, and he's uh, muted it, and he's asking his friend, like, hey, can you go shoot me behind? I mean, of course, there's obviously plan, but it takes a lot of willpower and like time and a good friend to actually go through and do this with someone. So props to Crumb for actually asking your friends like, hey, shoot me and get this footage. So yeah. They'll always find someone who's better than them. Mm. But that's the truth of any game. No one can truly be the best player. Thanks for watching. Oh, that was really well done. Okay, so my thoughts overall on the video. First of all, the production quality was great um the microphone was awesome the footage was great it wasn't super grainy bitrate was fine overall the text was great i mean sure there are a few typos but it happens especially when you're making your first type of video like this it's a big project to work on so you know props to you man only few things i would mention is that yeah what i learned uh along the way when editing is uh when you're blurring it, it gets uh really uncomfortable for a lot of people so what you want to try and do is 
maybe lower the exposure of your TF2 footage. You can do that via Lumetri Color in Premiere Pro. And what that does is that it, it's still blurry, but it lowers the brightness. So it sort of just dulls everything down and your eyes don't hurt as much. Uh, I know Shonik does that a lot in his editing, which is, is, is really good. As I matured with my editing, I'm not saying it's bad, but yeah, when it comes to swearing, I felt like Chrome swore a lot, especially outside of the rage thing. I feel like he should have really kept it to salt. Um, maybe this is just my my YouTuber brain, but when it comes to swearing, yeah, you gotta be really careful with that because YouTube will pick that up and they will make it harder for your video to grow. So if you're gonna swear, censor it. If you're not gonna swear, even better, leave the swearing for a specific moment in a video or just make it more rare throughout. This has been a great watch. <laughs> It's really fun seeing someone go through the same process that I did making a 10 stages video. You can see his thought process and how he goes through it. And it makes me feel like, a, weirdly enough, like a father. Like, I, I just made, like, a fan came to me and asked if I want to do something. I let him. And I get to see this as a result. And I just hope he does really well with this. Um, as much as I like to shit on the TF2 community, this is, this is a really nice feeling. And I, I'm so honored and I'm so proud of him for making something like this. Honestly, man, if you're watching, this is incredible. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys want to support this channel, you can go to my Patreon, join my Discord, follow me on Twitter, or you can get your own merchandise. I have this hoodie and this hoodie too. It's really cool. I like it. I think it's a really cool design. And this also has it on the back. I like it a lot. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.